what's up everybody it's monday it's halloween i should be passing out candy or watching street outlaws because that's normally what i do on monday evenings but i feel like i gotta put this message out to people y'all be safe out there it's getting cool people are getting these high horsepower cars or cars that they're not used to driving um, and I've been there before, you know, I went from a four cylinder to a six cylinder to an eight cylinder to a supercharged 426. So, I mean, I, I know how it is to get the car that you think you can handle because of your last car. You definitely got to be careful out there. Um, and having said that, if you see somebody having issues, if you see somebody broke down, or if you see somebody that got into accident, stop and see if you can help. You know, we're all here for each other. And that's what it's all about. Well, yeah, the difference, uh, you know, both these teams, uh, again, three and four on the season, but uh, coming off that win against Graceland, their first North Division game last week. Meanwhile, uh, Pride, uh, Clark is coming off on the loss last week in their North Division opener. So uh, they come in at 0 1 in uh, the North Division play, but again, both three of them are for the Miller. We talk about the, the strong. On both sides, Carter, and the one thing that stood out to me, uh, you know, they both have an individual on each side in the defensive secondary. For Clark, it's uh, Jamal Gonzalez, and then of course, the Wildcats, of course, it's David Hernandez. Those two young men both have five interceptions on the season, which is tied for not only the Hart Conference, but the all of NAI lead in the interceptions. I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of sh come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me.